I'm back on Injustice, this time covering Metal Black Adam with a cracked setup, but before we can talk about that, if you guys haven't already, please take the time to check out my previous video before this one. It was me covering Ruler of Condock Black Adam on Injustice 2 Mobile. If you guys want to see more Injustice 2 content like that, then go show that video some love if you haven't already, baby. I'm talking like button, I'm talking subscribe, I'm talking add to your favorites. Anyway, in my last Injustice 1 video, I covered the Black Adam team. That video was a lot of fun, just rocking all three Black Adams in an online game. It was crazy. Easy. Obviously, we're still on the Black Adam train. I've seen the movie, by the way, but we're gonna talk about that later. I've talked about this in the past a lot. This guy has an infinite combo, but what we're gonna be doing in this video, we're gonna be abusing the hell out of that. So with this setup, we are getting crazy damage just in our basic attacks. However, you could do one better if you at home are trying to get a better setup for Black Adam. I would definitely recommend the Soul Taker Sword as a good swap option because this one gives you unblockable chance on basic attacks and it also gives you life drain on special too. So this is good as well. You guys can see right here, we have Silver Flash and Red Sun Deathstroke. Combined, we have a 20% speed increase in our gameplay. If you head on over to Mirza.shop, we are currently running a buy one get one with our make your own pack. So check it out right here. If you buy one make your own pack, you get another make your own pack for free. In total, that is four characters plus four gears, 14 million power credits, plus 3000 nth metal all in. Keep in mind, this deal will only last until November 20th. After that, it is gone. I believe this is the first time we are doing a buy one get one on Mirza shop. So definitely check it out because we have more deals aside from that. For example, we have the advanced gear pack which not only includes gears but also includes currencies you guys have shown a lot of love for the make your own pack which is why i brought it back with a bogo deal so what are you waiting for we support both ios and android orders and all of our orders are completely banned proof i want you guys to just see this okay so let's just start this off watch this okay hold on yep there you go look at that heal bro Sixteen thousand. Okay, watch this, watch this. Look, look, look. I am so incredibly fast, bro. Look at this cracked ass gameplay. If you guys are watching this video right now, I would highly recommend having some block breaker gear here because it's gonna make a difference for sure. Because I'm noticing the AI is blocking just a little bit. So having like the soul taker sword or something like that, you can definitely make this setup even more cracked. Bye, have a beautiful time. There is no shot, bro. Blinked. Alright, guys, watch this. Bye, he time. blinked again? Alright, this time around, we have the Blackest Night team, and we're not really off to a good start here either, so, like... Okay, bro is, um... Bro is blocking every single attack. Hold on. I'm... Bro, the fact that I keep missing these combinders is so foul. Like, I really hope you guys aren't seeing that. Oh yes, oh yes. Now that I've built up a nice little rhythm here, it's a wrap for everybody. Dude, what the hell is this? <laughs> there is no shot. Dude, he can resurrect all he wants. I'm not stopping this. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Special three, yes sir. That was so sad. No! Um, We're kind of dead. Hold on, please. Yeah, there you go. Yep. We love to see this. Perfect. Oh, she got her whole three bars of power back. What the hell? Okay, so our whole team is dead and we only have Deathstroke alive. Um, I'm gonna clutch this. Watch. What? That was a block breaker! You gotta be kidding! Also, guys, bit of a spoiler warning for um, Black Adam, but I do want to talk about that movie. I loved that movie. I think that movie did everything it needed to do to set up Black Adam. I understand that this movie is kind of divisive at the moment because if you go to Rotten Tomatoes and you look at this movie, I think the critics gave it like a 40% and then the audience gave it like a 90%, which is insane. Obviously, there are some issues with the movie itself. I think there's too many cuts, first of all. Like way too many cuts, even for like an action film. There's too many cuts. I loved the introduction to like the JSA, how they're like expanding on this DC universe. I think that was cool. I do think the JSA lineup could have been a little better. The front runners for the JSA in this movie are Dr. Fate and Hawkman. I love the whole duel between Hawkman and Black Adam. And Dr. Fate was by far my favorite character in that movie. The effects that they did with Dr. Fate specifically, I loved. There's like this scene towards the end of the movie where it's um, Dr. Fate up against like how do I say this? Like, like Satan, basically? 
yeah, so Dr. Fate and Satan are basically fighting, and it, it is a really good fight scene. I think it's one of my favorite fight scenes, right next to the beginning fight scene for when Black Adam first got introduced. I'm pretty sure that was my favorite scene with Dr. Fate in this movie. I liked Atom Smasher, I liked Cyclone, those were cool characters, but they were mostly side characters, but they were good. Obviously, I have my gripes with this movie. Um, I'm not going to talk about it here, but this movie, for the most part, it is a good movie. Like, it's a good movie. I watched it twice, so like, it's a good movie. There's no shot I'm gonna lose to Lex Luthor of all people, right? There's no shot. There's like really no shot. I, like I can't take this disrespect. I I really can't. The amount of disrespect right here, bro. If I lose by Crypto Lex Luthor, Jesus, get out. Okay, yeah, I don't mind dying by Killer Frost. I'm already dead. A tiny part of me really wanted this movie to be rated R because I feel like this movie just would have been better for it. Honestly, I think you could really show off Black Adam super well had it been rated r i still think they do a good job nonetheless even with a pg-13 rating had this movie been rated r i feel like it would have been such a different movie i definitely think the movie would have been better for it but it's fine i'm not gonna hold it to you guys when i saw superman i literally got up from my seat on god i think the first thing i noticed was the suit the suit just looked more colorful you know it's weird because the last time i saw henry cavill was probably in like the Zack snyder cut so he wore like a black suit in that so maybe i was just expecting to see like a blacked out suit but his suit looks a lot more colorful way colorful than like from man of steel or even like dawn of justice i'm not sure if that's a new suit that they made for his black adam appearance if it is, I like it. I like that saturated look. The other thing I want to quickly talk about about this movie is I didn't really like the ending. I was half expecting, and you guys can call me cynical or not for this, but I was half expecting Black Adam because throughout this entire movie, like, they keep saying, Ooh, heroes don't kill people. You're not a hero. Oh, I'm not a hero. It's like this back and forth between whether or not Black Adam's going to be a good guy or not. I was expecting in this movie, or at least at the ending, for him to just break bad, basically. Because at the end of this movie, when Black Adam sits on his throne, I genuinely thought he was going to, like, just change his mind and become evil or something. That would have been a way better ending, in my opinion. Call me cynical, but I feel like that's the way the movie should have ended, with him on the throne and with him being, like, basically a dictator of Kondok. Like, I feel like that would have been the perfect setup for Black Adam too, because obviously this guy is not a hero. I feel like in his newer renditions, he's shown as a hero, but the Black Adam I know, this dude's a cold-hearted villain, bro. I guess that's just a problem with these anti-hero movies, or maybe I'm just getting tired of them, but I just was expecting something different to happen in this movie. Now, obviously I am interested to see where this story goes. Um, I know The Rock has just been talking on Twitter about like this being a new phase for DC and like storytelling and shit. I think for what it is, I think this movie is good. It's a good movie. I really can't complain much about it. I have complained and that's it. This time we have um, my boy Darkseid. He looking good too. We have Rebirth Raven and then we have um, Teen Titans Raven. Yeah. Damn. Dar Damn. Darkseid died really fast. Oh, that's tough. That is so tough. Hold on. That's a one. How are you blocking? All right, watch this. I don't mind swapping healths again. I really don't give a shit. Y'all. Yeah. All right, let me tag out before I get obliterated. Ooh. This time we have a full uh, metal team. Or not metal team. We have like a Batman Ninja team right here. And um, this might be a tough one, guys, because I literally don't have a good team at all. I think the biggest trade-off for having all this speed in this video is probably the team. Because we have Silver the Flash, we have Red Sun Deathstroke, and then we have Metal Black Adam. So it really doesn't make any sense. I'm so dead. What am I even doing here? What can Flash even do here, bro? He can't do anything. I can just build up for my special three and just do that. I'm telling you guys right now, it's not worth it. Because I think I have the fourth world set on him. So really, any special won't even touch Catwoman. So like a special three is like my only option, really. That did pretty okay. Look at that! Oh my god, let me heal up, let me heal up, let me heal up. I have this crack set up for a reason. Let me do my combo ender, bro. Oh, tag out! Oh, did you guys see that reaction time, though? So, obviously, my boy Flash is dead. Let's tag in my boy Black Adam. Special one. Hold on, Catwoman. Hold on one second. 
Oh, what, the, what is this? Killer Frost again. We love to see it. We really don't. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I love Black Adam so much. <laughs> Guys, this is this is what it's all about. Like this right here. What you're seeing, this is what it's all about, baby. So obviously the only other character that can do the same thing like Black Adam is doing right now is probably the Flash, but the Flash has a much better combo string because Flash's infinite combo is a lot better in my opinion, just cause it's just a one, two. It's literally just a one, two. Look at this. Let me, if they is not gonna block every two seconds. All right, guys, these matches are literally making me lose brain cells. I don't understand. I feel like once you build up a nice rhythm, it is honestly such a wrap for the team. Like, look at this. Like, it just doesn't stop, baby. The Black Adam train don't stop. Oh, special two. Let's do the special two here. Nice. Okay, my boy Deathstroke holding it down for no reason. All right, this time we have a Justice League team. We don't see a lot of this, actually. Oh my, bro, her health. Her health is, like, just gone. It took me, like, less than 10 seconds. Ooh, 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 ooh Superman, chill out. That's going to be it for this video. I wanted to show you guys how broken Metal Black Adam can be. Truly, we put a 20% speed increase. On top of that, we buffed up his damage for his basic attacks like tenfold. I think it's always fun to just see what we can get away with in this game. And it's absolutely crazy how I can knock out a whole team with just my combo ender. It's insane. And don't be afraid to play with this setup. I would say keep the super pill because the super pill is just a all around great solid gear card, but you can mess with it because earlier in the video, I was rocking the Ra's al Ghul Skimitar. I feel like I said that wrong, but I swapped it out for the Soul Taker Sword, obviously, but you could do a lot with this. If you guys don't want to heal as much and you guys want to focus more on damage, then definitely get rid of the gauntlets. Swap of the gauntlets, you could put the Adept Hood, the Chest Armor, the Necron Scythe is good. Hell, the Quake Engine is really good here too. Um, the Master's Death Cart or the Tantu Totem because these two gear cards right here that I just mentioned, they're going to give you power, baby. Power like it's nobody's business. But other than that, that's going to be it. Follow me on Instagram at MrMirza5. I'll tell you guys later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.